Hello everyone, welcome back to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Continuing it on in the missions in Jorvik here on the next pledge that we arrived on in the last episode. There's two quests that became available recently. One is over here and one was actually pretty close to the Royal Hall where we stopped last time. And there's also a book over here. So we'll start off this next quest and hopefully we'll be able to put this, pick this book up as well because it seems like it's in the exact same house where we need to go into now anyway. So... Let's run over here and see if we can kill two birds with one stone, eh? The archives. This must be where Alan shuffles the council papers. It's not here. Hmm. I should look around. I should look around. There's definitely something above us. Okay, so we got to shoot this down somehow. So we can make it up there. question is, how do we shoot that down? Because we don't really have access to it from here. Maybe we could have shoot it down from the outside. Maybe we could shoot it through here? Oh yeah, there we go. So that should open up this little area here. There we go. We can shoot this down. There we go. So there's a new skill. Sweet. Ability upgrade Rage of Torhorn. Wait, have we even have we even got that before? Oh we did, okay, it's an upgrade. Enter a fit of rage and slam your enemy to the ground. Oh, that's right. That was one of the very first abilities that we unlocked, like way at the start. I mean, we haven't really used that that much, just only it's for the race style, but I don't know. It's not really the, the type of ability that we're going for in this playthrough, but that's all right. So what are we looking for in here? Clues, I guess. Thank you, Alden. I will leave with these at once. Of course. A4, isn't it? What brings you to our archives? I've come to ask about these Christian texts. Lufina tells me the Red Hand is stealing them. Mm, and destroying them? I fear they will attack these archives next. The Abbess here has offered to bring the texts somewhere safe. She's been working diligently on this matter. You flatter me, Lord. I only wish to help. Abbess Ingeborg, this is Eivor, our honored guest from the south. Eivor has offered to help rid Jorvik of the Red Hand. How can I help? An abbess does not strike me as a suitable choice against a gang of ruthless bandits. It is my duty to protect the role of Christianity in our lives. Texts like this Gospel of Matthew were created for more than just perusing. They are a gift. They spread the word of God, and it is that which must be preserved, whatsoever the cost. I admire your resolve. But unless the Red Hand is dismantled, they will continue to harm those in possession of these texts. The Red Hand seems to know where to look for these texts. It may be someone is guiding them. What can you tell me? You know something else. That much is clear. The Abbess has her suspicions. As much as it pains me to say, I suspect something foul at the rectory. I have heard whispering, collusion, and the bishop. He has been sneaking around the rectory, often visiting the priests in the cover of night. Time I pay these men of faith a visit. The rectory is on the road to the minister. I should look for the bishop there. Okay, so let's check out where this is now. Okay, seems like it's just on the other side of the river again. So we'll scoot on over there. What I thought was weird in the last episode is, as soon as we got to the Royal Hall, like on this side of the river, everyone stopped following us, and they treated us as, like, an, a not a threat anymore. They weren't really hostile to us anymore. So it seems as if, like, the, the river is the boundary to people that consider us, you know, bad, and our allies on this side of the river. Because these guards here, like, they don't really care we're here. But I'm pretty sure on the other side of the river, they will not like it when we're just running around. OK, 
Okay, this looks like it's the place. Here's the rectory. The abbess said she suspected secrecy among the priests and bishop. Seems quiet. Where is everyone? Oh, it seems like there might be something in this house here. Someone is hiding in there. Doubt he'll come out. I'll have to find a way in. Well, that was pretty obvious. <laughs> Musky. Been here long, priest? Just who do you think you are, trespassing like this? This is my property you've destroyed. I hear you priests have been hiding ever since some Christian texts went missing. What are you hiding from? The Red Hand? Who else? They muscle their way to and fro. No one has done a thing about it. I'm looking for the bishop. Where is he? Gone to his quarters. Said he would return once he finished tending to a private matter. But that was some time ago. Show me there. W what do you mean to do with him? Now. Lord, forgive me. I knew I should have left with the others. The bishop's courses. What is that burning smell? Oh, here. Okay. Can we move this? It's gone. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Blood. There was a struggle here. Oh, we need to carry him? No, we just need to investigate, don't we? Oh, apparently not. Ugh, the stench. He looks like searcher's shit. I know we can examine it. it. The body. He must have tried to hide it before he died. Fellow brothers of the light, it is with a heavy heart that I'll be resigning from my duties at the Minster. The texts we kept there have been compromised, and I can no longer tolerate the abbess's methods. God forgive me for desecrating these sacred texts. My brothers, listen carefully. The church is no longer safe holy grounds. As I write this letter, I fear there may be an attempt on my life. Remember this name, the Firebrand. She is... The rest of the note has been burnt away. Okay. Someone knew the bishop was conflicted and killed him before he could say a word. It's a confession. The bishop played a part in destroying these texts against his own will. The rest of the letter is burned. But makes mention of the minster and the abbess. Is that where she's been keeping these texts? Look around. Search every room. They're around here somewhere. It's them. It's the Red Hand. Oh, Lord of mercy. Quiet. The Red Hand. I need to leave. Someone's onto us. How do we get out of here? Without too, making too much of a. Uh oh. Stay out of the way, heathen. Oh, okay, that was probably not the right option. You cannot. Several Christian texts. The abbess was right to cast suspicion the bishop's way. Oh, we can get out this way. There we go. Target sent the red hand after me. I must be closing in. It is time I head to the minster. The abbess knows more than she's letting on. The firebrand's plan is coming to fruition. At long last, we have waited in the shadows. It's probably a, lo a lot better way to get in here than just through the front door. A what? That guy saw me? Secured the minster. Go. If we pull up our bird so here. Oh, there we go. We could probably climb up, and there's probably an entrance at the top of that building there. It might be a little bit easier to get in then. 
Alternatively, we could go in here. What? Just what do you think you're doing? This is no place for you, priest. Go. Now. Blasphemy! Stop this at once! Something troubling you, father? Abbas, look. They are burning all of these passages. Why are you not stopping this? Because I ordered them to. What? The vellum that burn before you are covered in lies. So long as they exist, you cannot hope to see the world the way it truly is. Lies? Abbas, what has happened to you? We are God's children all. Do not renounce him like this. Please, I beg of you. You can still repent. God will forgive you. You know he will. Your mind has been poisoned, but worry not. We have the antidote. We will set a new example to which all may aspire. You... you... you're mad! You won't get away with this! I won't let you! There's no one to tell. No one who will hear your cries. If you cannot bear to watch them burn, then you should burn with them. I want it all destroyed! Every text, every passage, every scribbled piece of paper, everything. It is time to end this. Yes, Firebrand. Wow, she definitely seems like she might be a, a member of the Order. The Abbess is the Firebrand. She'll kill whoever stands in her way. The firebrand, yeah. Between her and her next victim. Identify and assassinate the Firebrand, okay. So is she still down there? Or is she long gone now? I think she's gone. Alright, let's check the order menu, because they're just updated. Oh, she's over here, okay. So I thought she may have been like one of these big ones down here, but nah. Abbas Ingeborg, okay. Um, it's probably not too smart to just jump down there now. Oh, there she is. Oh, they're there. Oh, they're walking away. All right, let's see if we can get over there quickly. If we come all the way up the top here, we might get a little bit of a better view. What do you see? Oh, there she is, over there. Oh, that guy's a good guy. Okay, I thought he may have been... May have been hostile. Hang on. Do they see where I am? No. Okay. Oh, there's someone over there. And there's also something in the house over there. Oh, there she is. Ah, oh, she's walking away. What are these guys doing? They're just like chilling two inches from the from the edge. <laughs> okay, guys. Whatever floats the boat, I guess. So she's all the way over there. Oh, I get it. There's three different targets. I kept wondering why there were so many different question marks question marks appearing on my map. But that makes sense now. So there's one over here. Let's try and assassinate assassinate him actually. Or her. Go. Tell them the Abbas sent you. And bring the texts here at once. Yes, Firebrand. We'll just take her out. fire that burns inside. I've always had it. A longing to do something grand and important. But that door was always shut to me. My methods deemed too severe. I was cast out. Shunned. Scorned. 
But the Order, they took notice of me. Saw that it was courage that drove me. Courage to change the world for the better. They reopened that door. And you used your chance to destroy a way of life you did not support. We have seen time and time again what happens when people are left to interpret for themselves. Knowledge must be controlled. Only then can the message be widely understood. The day where there is but one truth draws nearer. One truth, that is what the Order offers. This one sought to spark a new flame, but did so with a heavy hand. Not a teacher's tongue. This cleansing of yours ends here. My work is incomplete, but not inconsequential. There are others who carry on. For one of the four is us. Why did you say that? What does it mean? Now I go. A flame that grows bright and burns ever more, ever light. To Helheim, where cold and cruel the fires await. Oh, here we go. No there we go. With two people together, that, that grappling hook skill actually works really well. Want to know about Abizingiborg's involvement? So I think there was three targets, and I just had to pick the right target. Like if the, if the first two targets weren't right, then I had to continue to find the other two until I found the right chick. But I got lucky, and she just happened to be the first chick that I came across. Like the first one happened to be correct. All right, so we we'll get back to the royal hall and report on our on our success. What news do you bring? The Firebrand's flame burns no longer. It was Jorvik's abyss, Inkiborg. Gods. I would never have suspected. Does the Order's reach know no bounds? None. And it is often those we least expect who carry out their ambitions. The abyss sought to destroy all Christian texts in the city. Rid Jorvik of their ideals. She did utter a phrase that perked my ears. One of the four is ours. Four? But there are only three targets in Jorvik. Could there be something we're missing? Damn Picts! Not only do they hold the North, but those lawless chicks have free roam in our lands as well. Yours said our spies are on the ground. Under the ground. Only one of them has returned, bone-beaten and bloodied. The howling mother takes them. Lovina, a moment of your time. And Hjor, if he's about. I will be with you shortly. Two more left to hunt. The disputes coming out of the docks lately have been deafening. Head there and dig around. Something is bound to turn up. Alright, sweet. Quest completed. Burning the firebrand. Another two skill points. Good stuff. So what are we at? 240. Headshot damage. Always juicy. Poison resistance, why not? What's this one? Range critical chance. We can get that afterwards, maybe. Okay, so what is the next objective? Maybe this way. Pricking the needle. Alright, while we're there, we can grab the sink point as well. Because it's actually right next to it, so that'll be good. Make it a little bit easier to travel around Jorvik in the future. 
In case you're wondering as well, I actually managed to save up a lot of silver and buy all the all the hints and all the maps from the, uh, what is it, cartographer at our camp. That's why all these items here, like the, the ingots and the equipment and everything, it's already unlocked. Like I can see where everything is. Otherwise, they would usually just be yellow dots. So that's the trade depot, but we're going to leave that for now and go over in here and grab the, the synchronization point first. Oh, is there a point on top of the royal, on top of the royal house over there? I don't think there is. No, there's not. I thought there was three over here though. No, oh, apparently not. Apparently there's only two. All right. So let's head on down and go to our quest now. So it's right here, and if I had to guess. If I had to guess, it's probably better to get in through the top. Especially because they've put this wood here. Ah, oh, here we go. The depot is well area. guarded by the Red Hand. The Order has a stake in these docks. What are you doing? You're supposed to be in the market. I know, I... I forgot which murder... So I could take him out. Well, he's facing the other way. So technically, I can just take this guy out. Someone else will take care of Okay, that worked out pretty good. It seems like the complaints by the merchants never reached the council. A needle is known to sting for far less than this. So is there something else? Search the trade depot. Okay, so that's not everything we have to do. Well, we can blow this up here. that little piggy out. Oh, it's a wolf, so. Take her out as well. There seems to be a bit of equipment here. Oh, wow. Spinning death. Not bad. I'm on his trail. Darkmaster seizes cargo and resells it through merchants in the marketplace. The ones involved bear black cloths. I may be able to get their attention by showing some silver around the marketplace. Seized exotic wares. These are worth plenty. Something that could be on the Red Hand's agenda. Accumulating wealth. Okay, before we do anything else, let's invest in our two skill points. And also have a look so what are we going to do here? Flail, what's this over here? Range? Nice. Pretty good chance. Good stuff. Alright, let's check out this flail that we just picked up. Because we haven't really used the flail too much. Spinning death. Heavy finisher hits have a chance to drop a firebomb. Wow. We're probably not going to use that. Do we have any other flails? Here, soldiers for increased speed when close to full health. That'd be pretty good. Honestly. We haven't tried a flail that much either. It's not upgraded to the max, but we could just upgrade it now. Now it is. We might actually try a flail. I mean, we're so used to an axe now, so it might be a little bit awkward. Ah, we'll leave it. We'll leave it for now. I tried it one time, close towards the start when we first got one, and it didn't... The problem is, it takes a little bit too long to, to, to hit the first attack. So if you just want to hit, like, a really quick attack in, it doesn't really work. You have to prepare to hold it down and, and hit a few hits for it to be worthwhile. But that's okay. Just in there, okay. Look for the stalls draped with black cloth.
What do you see? Oh, all the way over here. Okay, so we gotta head to the marketplace to ask around. That's right, that's what he said. And I guess the specific store with black cloth, that's gonna be... That's gonna help us out. Cupcake market. I'll flash some silver to the merchants. That should get their attention. What do you mean, trouble? I don't know for sure, but the needle is calling for more protection. Meet me here at nightfall. We will go see him together. Those guards will return after dark. I might be able to follow them to the needle. I mean, we could follow him. But it doesn't look like he's moving. There's also a quest marker over here, though. Go one by one, and if any of these peddlers gives you a hard time, remind them just who it is they work for. Oh, with pleasure. I hear this marketplace sees its fair share of silver path through. I have something that may interest you. You will want to speak to Grigori. The Dark Master? Sorry. Who are you? Someone who wants to do business with Grigori. I don't know your face, and I've said too much already. Please, go! Psst. Psst. Did I hear you talking about silver? I'm looking to spend the large sum, not fork it over to some street beggar. Oi! I'm no beggar, you dolt. I'm with the big dogs. You mean the needle? You have something he wants. If you truly want to make a trade, head to the statue near the east gate. I shall. Watch yourself around here, young one. Who, me? <laughs> Please. I have a bigger sword than a lot of them. <laughs> what a trooper. Okay, so I'm not sure if we need to... It says to get the need of his guards gather at night. His hideout is near a statue. The key is hidden around the statue. Okay, so I guess the, the quest is giving us a number of different options here. We can choose which option we want to take. At least that's what it seems like. So where is the statue? Before we spend so much time trying to find this statue, we could just take this guy out, right? Oh, we could steal it. I mean, it says east of the market, so maybe let's just go adventure off to the east and see if, we're, see if we get lucky. I mean, this is a big town, so it might be pretty difficult. Let's see you, old friend. Oh, here we go. Here's a statue as well, east of the market. So I assume if the guards meet up here, then the hideout's going to be pretty close by. It's probably this house here. Empty carts and a black cloth marking the house. This is the plan. Hiding among the rats, needle. Fitting. All right, we're in. So, stealing that key from that guard was pretty, pretty important, I guess, because that allowed us to get in here. up this way, I guess. Okay, we get to swim under. Makes sense. Let's keep our eyes out for hidden chests and things. I should be cautious around here. The sound of metal. A workshop in the sewers. What is the needle's operation? All this silverware. Some still in their crates. Has this all been seized as well? Oh, here we go. This is how we get down to the lower level. No! Please! Don't do this! I promise! I promise you your silver next week! Please! Don't do okay, it's going to be difficult to sneak around here. We can get a little bit of higher ground. Yeah, okay, it's definitely 
to buy some coins. What do they plan on doing with it? It's definitely better to stay up here. Easy. I thought that guy was going to spot me for a second there. So there's one guy with a key here. We'll take the guy behind him out. And then take him. Take him out. Grab his key. But there is another guy with a key. But he doesn't seem like he's got any guards next to him now. So we can just assassinate him. There we go. I'm not surprised to find you creeping down here. You! You don't belong down here! We run a clean dark in Jorvik. I believe those were your words. And yet here I find you swimming in silver from all the wares you've seized. Are you the needle? Or just another of his pawns? You have it all wrong. The fabric of this world has been used up, torn, shredded, you see. Someone must be there to stitch it back together. Someone with a firm yet steady hand, who can thread the needle. Someone like me. You are a shit poet, but at least my question is answered. <laughs> yes, well, we all have our weaknesses. Yours appears to be the iron between us. I think your men are going to stop me. I would not undermine them so. The Red Hand are loyal to our cause, which is more than I can say for the merchants. Make it quick! Meet me in the marketplace when you are done. Make it quick. <laughs> he definitely hey, underestimates me. Time has come! <laughs> What do you say? Meet me in the marketplace when you're done, okay? So we could probably find that bloke in the marketplace. He's gonna die. Oh, he's not gonna die. Come on, mate, stop moving. Oh my god, this is embarrassing. <laughs> Stand still, bro. There we go. Hopefully that's everyone. That damned background. Slip through my fingers. Finish this and navigate market. That's right. I'm sure we'll be able to find him in the market and assassinate him there. Especially if he's if he's expecting the the people that he just sent on me. I mean, it says confront the needle, but I can imagine. We don't really have to confront him. Probably just have to assassinate him. It's actually right here. Oh well. Come, come. Walk with me. It is good to walk. Gregory. Good to take in the air. The sights, the sounds, the smells. Please. Gregory, I, 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 I didn't think you'd mind. It was just a few coins. Shh, 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 shh. I understand. It's not your fault. It was mine, for thinking you had anything but empty air between your ears. With all the silver I've given you, I have nothing left to feed my children, let alone myself. Please, understand. 
Oh, dear God. Merchants of Jorvik, I promised you a future rife with opportunity. And what was the one thing I asked in return? Do you remember? Loyalty. Loyalty! <laughs> Let this serve as a lesson. Should any of you think it a good idea to threaten my operation? Should not be seen in this area. I do the thinking. You do as you're told. Oh, he is moving away. All right, let's quickly get over to this point, then we can take him out. funny. As a child, I thought of snow as the tears of God, frozen by our sins. Weak with hunger, I stared into the sky, hoping it was me he wept for. Me he sought to save. But God did not save me. The vault did. He took me to a fine house, gave me hearty meals, a warm bed. For the first time, Someone extended a hand, showed me kindness, compassion. And it was then that I made a vow. I vowed to never turn my back on he who was there for me when God was not. So you served the vault, knowing full well what he was a part of. The Order made our paths intersect. I owed them a debt, and I repaid it by saving this city from its own destruction. A life debt is a strong motivator. It took hold of this one's Hugard, drove it, and never let go. Yet not with the same compassion you were shown. Too many have suffered by your hand in pursuit of this course. You're right. Perhaps I deserve this death. But I am but one cog in a large wheel. One that still turns unhindered. Not for long. Where you have gone, there will be no tears waiting for you. Don't let the fates throw you! Alright, sweet. Quest completed. Picking the needle. Alright, good stuff. Another few skill points, not bad, not bad. Alright, that's where we're going to stop it for here, guys. Just run away so they don't chase after me. I think if I start fighting there, there's going to be so many people that come after me. Probably just a little bit better to run away. Alright, this is where we're going to stop it. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, leave a like. If you want to see more stuff like this, feel free to subscribe. We'll continue on from here in Jorvik, the pledge line, in the next episode. Have a good one, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.